Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Transformation Tuesday. I hope everybody had a awesome Memorial Day. If you are just getting on, tell me what you did yesterday. I would love to hear it. Um, was talking with some of my clients this morning and it's so awesome just to hear how things have been opening up the past few days. So I'm super excited um, about that. Good morning, Jen. I will see you soon, hopefully. What'd you do yesterday, Jen? Are you doing the body fat challenge that starts tomorrow? <laughs> so what is up everybody? Transformation Tuesday. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late getting on. Um, there is a really good YouTube uh, that's gonna that I'm gonna drop in the comments here that you guys are going to love. It's longer, but definitely, definitely worth the time um, listening to it. I was so into it that I wanted to finish it up, and then I had Axel crawling on my leg, <laughs> so it wouldn't let me get out of the house. So, oh, Palm Springs, nice, nice. All right, all right. Oh, you are nice. There's another competitor. So if you guys are wondering, I'm talking about um, tomorrow, we are starting a Coraline uh, fit five week, sorry, five week body fat challenge with some of my clients. So um, everybody's ready to get any extra pounds that they had put on during this whole thing. So it's time to get them taken off. And this is like so close to my face compared to my old car. So you guys, Transformation Tuesday, transforming our mind because after we transform our mind, it transforms us, who we are, our thoughts, and in turn ends up transforming our whole entire life. Um, then we can transform our body. And so that's why it's so important to get your mind right, fill your mind with things that are gonna help it grow, help you grow, help you see the positive in everything. You know, one of the things that uh, I had this aha moment on the YouTube that I was listening to this morning is um, it said something like, we're so worried about what other people doing and um, what they have and that we're trying to have versus like using something that's actually going to help us get it, um, which means transforming our mind. So your thoughts about other people and what they're doing is not going to affect your life, right? It's only going to hold you back from achieving the success and the greatness that you want because you're sitting there too busy trying to think about a comparison versus just being you doing what you love, doing what you're passionate about and focusing on the goal that you have in mind versus what somebody else has. Because remember, everybody's circumstances are different. So it's important that we just flood ourselves with just amazing information that's going to help us transform ourselves and help us see the difference that we have inside that we one, want to achieve what we want to um, make and do to make us feel better. That's going to bring us joy, right? So what is it that you want to achieve in life? And what are the steps that you're willing to take? Because remember, we talk about this all the time is people just aren't willing to take those steps. And it, it kills me because when you start just your mind just keeps on, it, it's changing in such a positive direction. I'm it's so hard for me to like um, say this in words because the feelings and the thoughts that I have that go along with what I'm trying to <laughs> explain is, is like a feeling like no other. Like you feel like your possibilities are endless. Like if I can even acknowledge that the things that I want in life that it's my own self holding myself back. I'm not gonna blame it on somebody else. I'm not gonna blame it on my circumstances. It's just, am I willing to work hard enough for those things? Am I willing to miss out on sleep? Am I willing to give up every single time that I have? And that's what the difference is between people that actually have the things that they set their mind to versus the people that are kind of stealing stagnant or 
you know, slowly creeping, slowly, slowly getting to where they want to be versus like, I'm going to hustle hard every single day until I actually make it happen. And that's the part that sets a lot of people off is one, they aren't willing to do anything. Two, they're just slowly creeping along. Three, they are working their butts off day in, day out. And that's why, you know, what do they say? Like 2% of the people actually live in their dreams. 2% just kills me, kills me. And probably in those 2%, people are thinking that they're living their dream. But two, in reality, your dream is always changing and evolving and growing, especially when you accomplish something. Then you got to set up like a next goal. What is it that you're going to accomplish? What is it that you want to do? You know, so I can ramble on, ramble on, ramble on. But um, I got to get on the road. As you can see, I'm already in the car. Um, but I'm going to listen, uh, drop you guys this awesome YouTube that you have to listen to. Remember, it's a little lengthy, but worth every single minute. I promise you. And um, I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. I hope that life is getting back to normal for you and um, that you are filled with joy and grateful for the absolute little things, just like what we talked about yesterday. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on another Dozens Daily Dose. Take care. Bye.